Hello, this is Instituteris and I'm continuing playing Gonna 2 Broom. And here we are in the basement of Hamilton Estate. Last episode, well, we were shot by a group of people, which we probably should avoid. Uh, found a frozen corpse. I uh, picked some herbs. And uh, yeah, we saw a ghost wolf, which probably would have attacked us, but we shot him first. So, now we are continuing... Oh, we need to replace battery. We will do that now. We need to continue to investigate um, Hamilton Estate and see what's happening here. Oh, this is where I... Yep, sorry. <laughs> Little loss. The game started when, I, uh, when it was pitch black and... Um... Okay, we can get upstairs from here. Tiger counter, uh, anything requires key, which we don't have. Well, let's go upstairs and see what we can see. There were globe and something else also, so probably missed quite a lot. Oh. Obviously, I'm not the only one to have come across beasts, but this poor dead woman wasn't as lucky as I was. So, of course, we're gonna take a picture of her, because we need evidence. Nope, not journal. Camera. Thank you. And we're gonna keep it. Uh, did it give anything more? No, no, it didn't. Uh... So, definitely not going there. I kinda wish we had light. Oh, isn't this them? Yes, this is the globe. Can we interact with this? We can. Carl knew how eccentric older millionaires could be, with more money than they know how to spend it. But never could he have imagined such a sophisticated puzzle. He's a sophisticated man. So, let's see. Do I need to... Well, the last one is not moving. Nope. Nope. At least it didn't seem like it. That doesn't fit. So it's got to be this then. Oh right, yes, now it is. <laughs> now it makes sense. I was checking. Bit weird position there. And here we are. Yeah, that. Nope. Oh. Now it looks a little bit better. Yes. A little bit further down the road. Yeah, here we are. And voila. Carl Faubert made a profession out of reconstructing a hole from seemingly incongruous parts. Well, thank this you. This reconstructed globe forced him to recognize how much more complex the mystery that was currently plaguing Manistan was in comparison. Yes, this is a uh, well. Quite an interesting mystery. We we started <laughs> checking vandalism, and here we are, haunted by entities, ghosts, humans, and whatnot. Anyways, a love letter from Cynthia, Adre addressed to William Hamilton. My dearest William, I understand the pain you feel. Rachel, as as she stood between us, already pressured you into guilt. I'm not lying. Ever since she took her own life, she appears in all of your silences. She was your wife, and to you, I am nothing. For this reason, I will accept whatever you decide regarding you and I. I just hope that you will respond to this letter. I would simply like to you, simply like you to remember the first time we met. 
that small gap in which had welcomed us despite how nervous we were, and which had made us feel like the whole world outside had ceased to exist. I want you to remember the perfection, perfection of our movements, of their authenticity. You cannot be mistaken with that much passion. I know all about the cruelty people use when they talk about you, when they criticize the mine and its operation, or your investments into the innovative scientific research. I know you do all this with the same passion you possessed that night in our cabin. A passion I know to be real, strong, and good. Don't let remorse consume you. I guess he didn't. I want you to know that I cried over Rachel, Rachel's death. I also felt shamed, ashamed. But we have to move on in order to embrace happiness, even if it simply is the guilty contentment that we have left together. I will respect your decision about our future, and I understand why you are so cold towards me. I hope that all the, the love this letter carries will somehow bring warmth to your heart. I beg you to answer me. I will be impatiently waiting, my dear and lovely William. Yours truly, Cynthia. Okay, well, we don't need that anymore. We have a key. Hidden key opens a door somewhere. Well, <laughs> I guess so. It <laughs> Usually that's what the key does. Um, what? Eyo Ichi Wildlife. A uh, book covering depth of local Quebec fauna. Iyo Ischi Wildlife is among the richest in Canada, and the territory is home to many of Quebec's iconic animals, including moose, brown bears, and beavers, Custer canadensis. They're rather shy by nature, but a keen observer hiking through the woods is sure a spot few, to spot few. Okay, good to know. Um, now. Did I? No, that was just light glinting from now this still is a bit hard to navigate I guess we can go here yeah there's the I'm checking the rest of this area before we continue so far so good can we put the light on no okay we're not going there just yet Hmm. Diary of Emily Lebrun, Tomb Tree. By one of Hamilton housekeepers, year 6164. March 5, 1961. I awoke this morning to the sound of mo movers emptying Rachel's private boudoir of all its furniture. The room is now used as the storage area. This is the first thing Mr. Hamilton had done that has even minimally concerned his wife since she left. I wonder if it was prompted by that letter he got from his son. Henry wrote to me as well. He finally found out about Rachel's sad ending. January 4th, 64. What a great gift to the new year. I received a package this morning from Quebec City. It was a copy of Henry's novel, his very first novel, written in French, and inside the most beautiful gift I have ever received. The book was dedicated to me. I cried over it. I am already on the third chapter. This boy is like his late mother. He is an artist. January 15, 64. This morning, Mr. Hamilton spilled his coffee on some important pavements and asked me to do what I could do to save them. The pavements meant nothing to me, and God knows I'm not a nosy person, but search of curiosity led me to look at them anyway. One of them was a bank, bank transfer slip to Mr. Hamilton's personal account. When I saw the amount, I almost screamed. I knew Mr. Hamilton was wealthy. I just had no idea how much. Interestingly, this money came from the foreign account. It was a branch in Eastern European country. Jan January 18, 64. Mr. Hamilton is looking thin and pale. He is working too hard for my taste. He's neglecting his health and I'm worried about him. May 21st, 64. Some gentlemen in jackets came to the house today and tried to ask about Mr. Hamilton. They were asking about his financial situation. They spoke to me in very unpleasant tone. I stayed vague. So, Eastern European Area 64, definitely in a Cold War period, so that would mean maybe you had some dealings. 
that doesn't look good for others. And those were some kind of agents. Nice stash. We have, oh, we can open this. Uh, ammunition. No, 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 no. We don't need notes separately. Locked from the other side. Okay. So we have at least one and two diaries left. But that was so prominently displayed that that is probably the most important one. But still, of course, I'm trying to find the rest of them. There's a bit haziness in there. I'll have to check when I take a little break that if I can do something about it. I was supposed to do that before we start recording, before I start recording, but uh, my mind totally forgot. So, I guess we go here. From the sound of it, whatever had just fallen was monumental in size. Carl Faubert was on edge. Okay. No, no, that's not what I was looking for. Uh, hopefully, it's nothing we have to worry about. But we do have some gassy substance here. So we don't really know if this is real what we, is happening at the moment. Oh, there's a frozen body there. Uh, I found another victim of freezing and terror, possibly one of the servants. That's a fair quest. Yes, yes. No, don't put that light away. But we can take the picture of it because we are nosy and we're gonna keep it lovely there you go and i check your body no but he's definitely scared i'm gonna take the revolver for now okay we're back in here so yeah these loops this Hamilton's is... room would keep its secrets. A disaster made it impossible to enter. So we will have to see if we can get there from some other way. Okay, I got 16 batteries. Okay, that is enough. Spare parts. Batteries, thank you, thank you. In this boudoir's former glory, you would have seen Lady Hamilton's refinement in every inch of the tapestry. It had become only a shadow of what it once was. Okay, good to know. Room key. Unlocks the mansion's protection room. So we can project something. Hopefully. Oh! Rachel Esther's diary. Late wife of William Hamilton. Well, this should be interesting. May 51. Writing seems to be the only thing to do here. I'm disinterested about everything. The beauty of the first, the first instance to do not impress me anymore. I only feel the frigid condition of the place making its way deeper and deeper into my bones. William's trying hard for me to forgive him and for locking me up in this desert. The workers of the manor just finished a new pearl of the house, a projection room where the best images of me are displayed. Movies scroll down along with my best angles and my best lines. William ignores that to be confronted by these bright eyes of mine only reminds me that I became a sad shadow of myself. I wonder why this here true. To see the great actress I once was, for him to enjoy what's left of my image, to forget I'm cooling down in this ice castle. June 52. He wants to make me feel guilty for all this sadness that I have, so he uses her. He thinks I am unaware of that. what he does. That from the perfumes he carries on himself when he returns home. I don't know about the way their body dance behind my back. Henry is worried about his little mom, about how I get stuck for days staring at the emptiness. For him, I will have to put up with all this a little bit more. For him, I will hold all my disappointment back. 
for him, I will remain silent. For him, I will stop cultivating this anger I feel towards this mine and the silence of the north. Far from the honking cars of Chicago, of the workers shouting in the streets, of the crowd screaming my name. I think a lot about my mother these days and how she would be disappointed to, fi to the fire of a star like me being put out by a such a snowy sky. January 53. My fingers are sore from all the work, but I do, I'm not fast enough. I'm afraid the costumes for the lights of our past will not be ready on time, or that they will not be majestic enough. I might need to ask Emily to take me to Henryville in order to get better fabrics. This project is all I am left. The beauty of these costumes will determine who I am. William is very stressed as well. An employee came to deliver a report and never once did the boss lay his eyes on the worker. What could it be? The usually overbearing William seemed shook in front of his subordinate. September 54. My project for Emily is moving along really well. I might even finish it before Christmas. She is so sweet and I am grateful to, the, to count on her through this rough patch. I am so pleased that she is teaching Henry French. His schoolmates can finally understand him and not just those ugly snobs who were brought here by their engineering engineer fathers. I'm relieved. If William knew that his son, a member of the high society, was hearing that workers Dirty tongue, I can only imagine how mad he would get. February 55. I leave for Henry. His talent will word with words fulfills me. He knows how to create sentences the way I knew how to use my body to dance. His poetic mind will one day describe beautiful universes. I will kill, give Emily some names of people I know in New York. When the time comes, his talent will be discovered. I hope nothing comes between him and his dreams. I hope he doesn't make the same mistakes as his mother. April 55. I suffer from my own reflection in the windows, of the empty sound of my steps in this bedroom, of my own voice when I'm talking to myself. I get nauseous looking at the snow piling at the base of the mountain. I feel so alone. October 56. There is nothing good left of an old and withered actress like me, except for others to remember what it looks like to lose everything. I destroyed the projection screen yesterday. William was so furious I thought he was going to tear down the whole mansion apart. Henry ignores me. I am not even a mother anymore. I wish I could give him all the love I have left. The energy that keeps me alive, it only comes from him. My anger. But Henry is not there to keep this old mother safe anymore. February 57. Henry, I love you. Henry, you are my everything. Never could, would I leave you if it wasn't that we already lost each other. Be careful, my little boy. Life is malicious, always trying to eat every little bit of your soul. Yours will be great and beautiful. Keep fighting. August 59. Nothing. Okay. Well, that wasn't definitely a happy marriage. And it's... Uh, I always forget that uh, we are in 70s. This is... <laughs> Looking at these posters, Faubert took the measure of what Rochelle Hamilton had to give up to follow her husband in these barren lands. I don't miss you and you alone, I miss you and me together. A deeply moving story of ill-fated young love. Dancing light. So yeah, he she gave up everything. Just move here. So, no wonder she is a little bit angry. Okay, what's now? Uh, part of the manor's second floor is covered with eyes of unknown origin. Oh, now you that just noticed, okay. Good to know. <laughs> yeah, that is a bit odd, and now you put the gun away. I kind of want to keep it just in case. Yeah. I'm stuck on the body. Yeah, I took a little hit there. 
I could probably use use the axe to I don't know if this is wasting ammunition maybe it is but maybe also oh this is this door okay fine we have a key so of course we're gonna use it we have downstairs oh projection room just a few days of renovation work and we'll finally have your very own projection room my dear aren't you going to say anything there's nothing to say whatever do you mean that room it's not for me nothing has ever been come now don't speak nonsense you know i love you as much as you love cynthia who i know about her william and i'm too weary to care about anything you're off your rocker there is no cynthia never mind it doesn't matter Yes, there is no Cynthia. The Canyon of the Copper Heart. Um, I think we, we have a door here. Empty. I guess they were renovating this area. Because, well, it seems like it has been renovated. Uh, is there? No, that doesn't change. So let's see what we can find from here. We have. Oh, that's the lift. What now? map oh i do have a map heavy object i totally forgot we have map so what do we have here exterior basement uh there was a key op door we couldn't open maybe we have a key already that first floor uh locked door and a few other things that was where the radiation was so we probably have to go there third floor and fourth floor. Okay. I somehow totally forgot that we have a map. The wind gusts. Okay. Uh, the wind gust is a tribute to the landscape and the escape of the land. From the Canadian shield to the St. Lawrence Valley. Wally, Wally. <laughs> I don't know. A uh, blizzard of voices will rise into a soft and powerful poetic breeze. The works of Marie Tremblay and Hector Garneau will come together along with a new generation of curious authors to discover one verse at a time. Good to know. La soirée. Um, ah, Emily Lebrun, tome, tome 2. Yeah, I want to call my diaries as Tome 2. Wish I would write the diaries. Maybe I should start. February 3rd, 1957. Mr. Hamilton can be cruel sometimes. He found Henry's manuscript. A violent argument broke out between the two, and Mr. Hamilton ended up throwing the manuscript in the fire in front of Henry. They almost came to blows. Objects were broken. Henry packed up and left. Rachel, uh, throughout, the, throughout the scene, remained strangely impassive, with the same disconnected air that has been hers for several months. Henry promised her that he would come and get her out of here as soon as he could. I thought I saw some emotion in Rachel Rachel's eyes, a fleeting glimmer, which died immediately. February 18, 1957. I found a bottle of pills in a trash can. It was Prozac. I think it belonged to Rachel. The bottle was full. April 26, 57. More, po more Polaroids of Joseph. This is bordering an obsession. These two seem to have a secret. I caught them talking uh, the other day in the woods near the garden. The conversation was tense. April 29th, 57. My heart ache aches. Mr. Hamilton has had Henry's room turned into a guest room. He puts his business guests in there. 
All traces of Henry have been erased. It is as if he never existed. I wonder where his belongings are. Probably in the attic. I don't dare to look. I don't want to know what I'm... I don't know what I'm more afraid of. Finding them up there so sadly forgotten or finding nothing at all. August 9, 59. One of the yellow police banners blew away and got stuck on the roof of the tower. Joseph still hasn't figured out how to get it unstuck. Every time I look out the window, I see the mo that morbid banner. I haven't been able to write about what happened here. Henry hasn't been told. I hesitate to write to him. It's not my role. I would be blamed for it. I was there when they pulled her up. Part of me wanted to watch, but I turned away at the last second. I wanted to keep the a nice image of Rachel. The rest of the day, we were qu questioned by the police. I stuck to my story. The day before, Rachel was not feeling well. In fact, for some time, she had been spending her days in bed, only coming down to walk in the garden. That morning, I found the an empty bed. She had vanished in the middle of the night. Again. She wasn't at the cliff at... At least we couldn't find her. The police think it was an accident. I suppose it is always possible. Only my heart lets me believe something else. Her misfortune was so great here. Here, isolated in the forest, far from all society, her career abandoned, and her Henry gone to Quebec. Quebec. I saw Mr. Hamilton give a few bills to the police officers while we were while he was talking to them in the background. He bought their silence, no doubt. September 22nd, 59. Mr. Hamilton refused to hold a funeral for Rachel. He merely erected a small, very modest deal in the garden. Stelle, stelle, stelle. It seems to me strangely like Rachel. Very fine, delicate, discreet. I think Mr. Hamilton is ashamed of his wife's suicide. I say it now without fear. Rachel committed suicide. There is no point in hiding it. September 25th, 59. Mr. Hamilton spends his hours isolated in his office or in his room. In the basement, he eats very little, just works. He is he at least in the morning? Morning. September 28, 59. The manor seems so empty to me since Rachel left. I miss her feminine presence terribly. Without her, without Henry, the manor has died. It has lost all life. Well, I bet it does. So this is the servants' quarters, I assume. Maybe I should take a little... Promotional poster. As I keep a little break, I'll probably add a little sensitive to the mouse. Not too much. So, anything else? Spare parts. I have no idea what we are going to use. Um, at, but we will probably find out. Record. Quebec, Quebec Love. Robert Char Char Charlie Boys. And a popular singer born in Montreal. Okay. I kind of wish we had more light. What is that? Is that alcohol? Mate, extra whiting, okay. Well, I guess there's nothing there except laundry. Nobody in the bath toilet, uh, bath, <laughs> bathtub or toilet. So at least that's good. Right, um, I think we're done here. Yeah, we have that door over there. I don't want to check that. I guess that comes... Maybe to the middle? Oh yes, it opens this middle area. Good, now we have that open. Canadian coin. Hopefully we can buy something. That is some... Creepy statue, actually. I don't know why we have this. Um, stop staring at me. What can I do with it? Show it at the door. Um, so it's on my hands. I can't drop it. I have no idea where I need to put it. So I have to take it somewhere. But where? Cannot be opened. Of 
just gonna be open. Oh, I don't know. Maybe here. Probably not. Cannot be opened, but can be opened. So we can get to the attic from here. Is this something that connects all the areas? Well, it might. So I'll have to see where that belongs. Or where we could put it. Oh, there's some ammo, I think. Oh, batteries. Well, that's also good. Lots of pictures. Phone. Um, I don't know if I want to have a gun on my hand, just in case you never know. At the moment, I'm not willing to use a med kit because I... For a rifle. Okay. I'll gladly take a rifle, yes. The door is stuck in ice. Ice, ice, baby. Well, can we take a picture of those marks? Well, we can, but it doesn't matter. Yeah, just the normal scratch marks. Nothing to... Well, it could be a bear. It probably isn't a bear, but it could be. So... I think we've been... Everywhere except upside or check that door. I'll go and check that door. And then we... Then I kind of want to go downstairs before we continue forward. If I can. Well, we can't go from here. Blocked by snow. Well, yes. So, let's go downstairs and see what we can see there. We still have that mystery key. We need to know where you belong. I can't open doors when I have you. I don't think so. Or can I? Let's see. Can we put you here? No, I can't interact with that. Nope. So... Or can we? No, we can't open the door. So it has to be somewhere this area so let's see here oh yeah. so Carl stood still at the commotion it must have been the service elevator suddenly coming unstuck well, the creepy head statue definitely works. So what does that mean? So can we use it for something? Um, maybe, I don't know. So anyways, let's go downstairs and see what we can see. I kind of wish we could save. That would be very nice indeed. Anyone home? No signal. That's normal. Is that what came down and kept that noise? Fell from the ceiling. Well, that would make sense. So, are we... We are in the first floor, as we should. We have rooms to discover. That is where we came here. Yep, let's go and check every bit of this. I think that's the jukebox. At least, I hope so. Now we can remove this broomstick. And right, so that's the front door where we came from. James Hamilton. Jimmy. And you would be then... Nigel. Of course you are Nigel. You have to be Nigel. There's got to be at least one Nigel. I would say. Two is too much, but at least one. Um, 
Those are the... Oh, yes, these stairs. Well, this is a huge area. Okay, that's enough for a piano. Ladies and gentlemen, we have gathered here today. Oh, it's dreaming. There's nobody here. Okay, what? Oh, no. There's the jukebox. Okay, so we are right about here. There's the locked door. Well, we might as well go... Oh, don't rum. But why is the rum gone? There's the jukebox. There's the bloody handprint. Special key required. We don't have the special key just yet. And this is the... Yes. So that's where I went upstairs. So we could go and see what's... Oh, sorry. <laughs> I was looking wrong part of the map. Can we open these? Cannot be opened. Can be opened. There's a muse. Uh, a hole in a window suggests that it was broken by a projectile. So, with the rot stone, monster, probably murderer, uh, wrapped inside a paper filled with written insults. Right. What did I pick? I don't know. Hopefully something useful. The material damage now seemed quite benign in the face of everything that had happened since his arrival. Hmm, indeed. Let's see, can we take a picture of it? We don't need it. No. Oh, we can make a light. Which means we can save and I take a quick break. Okay, I'm back. I was just checking the inventory. So we have 16 parts, 17 batteries, one blue rock and zero red rock. So those are something we probably need. We have a hidden key, room key, key to a mansion, documents. So we got everything in here if we want to. Now I changed the little settings there. Um, hello. Uh, a little bit more sensitivity to mouse and uh, I also changed the depth of field that's probably that gives that blurriness so let's see if it, if it helped or hindered more batteries oh this is high five damn time out take five the day brubet quartet good band good band so we have two doors that goes up and that goes to the library area oh this Carl is couldn't put his memories in order but there was a more pressing issue the decaying mansion had collapsed on top of him trapping him in the basement right yes indeed so i don't know there's only is there anything else we are missing? I'm... I kind of want to check these two. Oh, there's a safe spot too. So, yeah, let's go there. I know this is a bit of a slow... Oh, we can't go through there. A little slow... Oh, no, we can't go through there either. Also, I would like to wish 
uh, wish to know. Also, I'd like to wish. I don't know. I'd uh, like to know that how much the med kit heals. So, what would be the optimal point to use it? Oh, right. Let's remove the broomstick here. Oh, right. Like, I knew it was there. I just saw it on the edge of my eye. Yeah, we heard that weird music, so it's not the jukebox. So what the hell is that? We went through there. Now where would this lead? Right over here. Well, we ran through there, so yep. Yeah. Or walked through there. I probably want to open these doors much as I can. Right. Can I? We can. Spare parts. Batteries and whatnot. Oh. Did I? Oh, more batteries. Okay. Uh, it sounds like a radio. Ammunition. So far, I don't have haven't felt that the uh, surviving part is hard, but of course we're inside the mansion. That makes everything a bit easier. But it wasn't that hard in the first one, although I died in the first episode. Literally in the first year. <laughs> Missing up. That's the radio. Nicholas uh, Chabo. I, I think I've been here. Maybe. Oh, yes, but uh, somehow I didn't pick those up. Okay. No signal. Barely used television, we know that. I don't remember that playing when I came here. Jolly Chimp. A battery operated musical toy. That's um, people looking. So, yes. Uh, I guess we're not doing anything with that. Right. To my left, then I check these, and then we are. Yes, we are in here. Well, yeah, I've checked almost all of these. Will this open? The... Yes, this is door that opens outside. I kind of wish. Oh. Am I misremembering? Didn't I spot those? Because I was in that room. Or have... I don't know. Have they come back? Maybe I missed those. I don't know. Oh, right. We can make a fire here. Why not do that? Why not do that? And light it up. And why not save too, so... There's that. Oh, it's the protector upstairs. It just uh, comes through the ceiling. Okay, I think we're done here. I kind of wish to go. Now we have that one key. We it could open the basement, but I kind of want to go to the attic first, because after that we have to come down anyway, so let's go there. I think I'm in the right place, yes. Oh, is there a save point over here too? Maybe I want to do that, because it's closer. Of course it is. <laughs> Bloody hell, I really should realize that when you see a fireplace, it probably can be used to save. Yes. Oh, yes. Attic first. 
then basement probably. And I kind of wish to go back to the first area where I need to, if I can, take the pictures that I missed, at least try to take them. So I'll probably skip the way there if we can go there. A uh, struggle happened here. Can I take a picture? Well, I can, but again, is it? Well, we don't need it. Now this would. Wait. Oh, this is the third floor. Okay, we have still four, but I need to check the third floor too. Uh, why break a gun that has run out of ammo? Maybe it was. Uh, Lee Enfield, but uh, maybe it was used to hit something. That at least would make sense. Oh, this is the attic. Can we go then here? Okay. We have two, I guess. Oh. We can use the ladder. Good. A lantern. A um, binoculars. Binoculars. Spying glasses. Someone's playing a spy. I spy with my little eye. And yes, been here quite a while. Joseph was working in the garden last night. His movements are skillful, and he goes about his task without with the stubborn vigor of the manually inclined. But I can't help but imagine a more sensitive side to him. He spends his time outdoors, doing maintenance and repairs. I think I've only seen him inside once since he was hired, not fired. But I sometimes catch him dreamily looking up at the sky or the wind in the trees. Sometimes things happen when you least expect them. As I was setting the table, Joseph came in, walked straight to me and asked for a bandage. He'd cut his finger on the farming equipment. That was the first time we'd ever spoken to each other. Uh, we didn't say anything more, not even while I was treating his finger. A few times now, I've got Joseph neglecting his work to go for a stroll in the sun, cigarette in the mouth. Reprehensible as it may be, I will hold my tongue. This new friendship is becoming more and more dear to me. Emily, indiscreet Emily, has just told me that Joseph apparently has a daughter, Whatever happened to her? So yeah, Charles observing people. And I guess that's it. Okay. Charlie. More spare parts. We have quite a few batteries, so I'm not at the moment worried that they would run out. I think I've checked everything from here. So there's only thing to do, go through there and see if the missing items are there. So I'm guessing I have the key for the basement, and in basement we probably find the key. Um. Key to the locked door in the first floor. Off. A bit maze like, but fortunately, it's bright paintings. I wanted and batteries, more batteries. Good, good, good. 
Jeez. <laughs> that almost little startled me because I was looking at the floor and wait, <laughs> is there somebody sitting there? Anyways, uh, Hamilton Sons Belongings. Little crane. What is that? Hamilton Sons Belongings. Well, that makes sense. Don't turn your head, please. Although this is not a... Uh, horror game. So, probably not. More first aid kits. Good, good. Witty board. Billia board, okay. A game that would be used to communicate with the spirits. Of course. It ends usually badly, especially in the movies. Is following me. We got a door here, but uh, I could check. Well, 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 well. Here we go. Yeah, you got to have mannequins. So what? Yeah. Oh, spare parts. Well, have you been murdering people? He could no longer run away. It was always harder when you could put a name to them. Carl Almost. deduced that this poor man must be Charles, Hamilton's servant. <laughs> Did you use... Well, it says in the... On the driver's license, I guess. Uh, anything else? Okay, I guess nothing, but let's take a picture. So you were spying, which kind of makes sense. Another mentions, oh, sorry. <laughs> Rachel's antidepressants, Hamilton's francophobia, and Henry's her son's Eviction from the manor. It was all too much to bear for Rachel, and she took her own life. I found a dead man in the attic, likely the butler of the manor. Yes, another one of those waking dreams. I saw Hamilton and Rachel talking in the projector room. She seemed well aware of Cynthia's existence. Well, she was. Big picture of William Hamilton. Insensitive, impatient, racist, and borderline violent. If this is how his own wife saw him, his general unpopularity makes sense. Husband health problems. Do we have anything? Still missing something here and here. Those are notes. These are the mi things I miss. What am I missing there then? They're more like notes that I'm missing. Not pictures. Diary of Emily Lebrun, tome one. Okay, why it's here. June 15, 54. A terrible headache kept me awake most of the night. To my surprise, I wasn't the only one. The light remained on in Mr. Hamilton's room until early hours of the morning. I also caught glow from the top of the tower. Someone had been there for several several hours. Is it Charles? What on earth would he be doing there? June 18, 54. Mr. Hamilton seems to have changed for some time. The energetic, authoritative man he once was has turned into a preoccupied, nervous, self-effacing man. A servant, a newbie, a big awkward man named Bernard, ran into him this morning around breakfast time and spilled something on his robe. We expected, we expected a more terrible tantrum, but Mr. Hamilton seems to have hardly noticed. He has lost weight, and he looks fray. We all see it. June 23rd, 54. It was our national holiday today. Henry came to celebrate with us. He's such a good boy. It was good to see him so happy, dancing like a madman to the reels that Joseph played on his fiddle. 
Uh, he's usually so serious. You'll always say so. Why so serious? So melancholy that I sometimes forget he is still a child. The poor boy. He will leave the, um, the manners sooner rather than later, but he is still uh, so young, so fragile. July 1st, 54. I found some pain pills in the cabinet of Mr. Hamilton's private bathroom. This purchase did not go through his house service. He wants to hide them from us. December 5th, 54. Rachel is an angel. She made me the prettiest outfit for Christmas Eve. What a pity that so much elegance is wasted on the finery of an old maid. This is a far cry from the Grand Theatres of Chicago. December 9, 54. The good Lord makes the days and the days are something makes the days and days are sometimes cruel. Today it was cruel for, to my little Henry. I discovered him late that night in the kitchen, cold and in tears, tears of rage. He was shaking and told me he was certain his father was having an adulterous affair. He is tortured by the thought of telling his mother. I tried to console him, warmed him a bowl of hot cocoa. December 12, 54. Sometimes I feel like this mansion is haunted. I hear noises in the south wall of Henry's room. Is it rats? Rats on the walls? Joseph doesn't think it's necessary to check. After all, I'm just a little old woman. April 11, 55. The other two servants and I had to search the grounds in the rain in the middle of the night. She was gone again. We found her on the edge of the cliff, her dress and hair soaked staring into the void. Hamilton refuses to face the truth. He says she's only sleepwalking. Rachel has always been plagued by bouts of melancholy, but what has been happening lately is different. She seems to be giving in to it. April 18, 55. Dear, dear, dear. Dear Henry, this young man never ceases to amaze me. He entrusted me with the reading of his first manuscript. A novel, written in French. I was amazed. He integrated our language so naturally. Under his pen, it dances with grace, intelligence, sensitivity. sensitivity. He made me swear to keep it a secret, and I will. But I still want to shout from the fruit rooftops. Our Henry will be a brilliant writer. July 29, 55. How strange. I found in Charles' room. In Charles' room, I was there completely by chance, looking for a brooch belonging to Rachel. I found a Polaroid photos of Joseph, the maintenance man. I often catch him spying on him. Whatever is going between these two, these two I don't like it. Okay. You know my name. So. Yeah, rats in the wall uh, reminds me of the Leo Lovecraft story. So back in here. Wait. Right. Um. All oh, right, we are here. But I kind of want to check this area. I did miss that. Why not run as we can? I had hoped we could go through here, but apparently we can't. Sorry, I was <laughs> bumping on the body. Oh, good TV. He came back, so I did got that. Yes. That area. Probably something, maybe. Well, at least ammunition. You get so much ammunition. Well, explosives maybe? Well, explosives, it says on the bloody <laughs> badge there. Yes. Oh, what is this? Snow globe, Hamilton Estates. It snows when we shake it. Oh, uh, I just got an achievement for that, so it cannot be open. So maybe there are snow globes in different areas for collectibles at least it definitely points that way yeah i thought we could come through here but wait did animals try to go through the door well somebody was scratching maybe they were the wolves so am i missing those general 
No, I, I'm making the same mistake again. I'm trying to press the J for journal. I'm so used to it that usually it opens. Evelyn says she found the receipt of transaction with Eastern Europe to Hamilton's personal account. Apparently a very large sum. I didn't know he did a business overseas and why not in HMC's name? So is there a picture in this room? Possible picture or... No. Or somewhere else. Let's see. No, I think this is the... We already have that. Yeah, I'm just testing it out now. Let's see. I'm fairly certain we didn't uh, get anything new in here. No, it just changed this. Okay. Forward. Oh yeah, I definitely probably missed those. Hmm. Or not. Now we are uh, a hole in the floor and twisted wood, more signs of supernatural force passing through. So I guess this is where we can take the picture. Not this then. Um, nope. Okay. So what could it be? No, the J doesn't open the journal. Why do I do that? How long will I do that? Probably long. That could... Well, I can't go there, so the down is the only way to go. Whatever had forced its way through this wall was beyond the wrath of one man or group. Evil had entered through it. An impossible creature had taken over the manor. No, that definitely checks out. The bed. Okay, so that the tracks lead to Hamilton's bed. Something heavy landed there. I also noticed Pierce claws and the same invasive eyes as on the second floor. But wait. Wait. No, no. So there should be a picture that. From the hole, I think. No. Because... Uh, I have no idea. Maybe this. Again, what? Okay. So... Ah, okay. So I was a little bit off. That makes sense. Um, yeah, holding the floor. Twisted. Yeah. Ow, take it off. So this is not enough. <laughs> you have to actually check down. But anyways, I digress. Let's move on. What do we have on this side? Mirror, magic mirror on the wall. Well, that's uh, seven years of bad luck for someone. That was the blocked entrance. Office key unlocks William Hamilton's office. Okay, good to know. But what is the secret key then we have? 
Where does that go? Cannot be opened. Oh, by the way, let's keep the gun handy. Okay, we can save in here. So, we are here. Okay. Cannot be opened. Again, gone, back, out. Because we have met wolves. Let's be honest, I probably don't want to use the hatchet on them. Well, I could say bullets. Probably took maybe a little strafing good work, so this definitely opened. This area, nice. So, oh right, this is the office. So we, of course, we use the office key in here. I think this is the office. And that goes to stairs. No, we are. We're in the library, of course. I, but somehow my brain's just. That didn't work at all. What can we do with them? Do with them. That little elevator. It was in the kitchen. I'm gonna go and check that if it dropped down and we found something. And then I'll have to check the door over there if it opens what kind of a drink is that bottle of a spirit whale let me check these actually true just in case dawn's rum a bottle of premium age rum distill in distillery same body nice oh we have that thumping noise again. That usually means possibility of entities. So, have to be careful. Yes. That didn't go too well. I don't know. Did the one did I miss or were they two of them? Would make sense there were two of them. So can we open this? Apparently we can, so that's outside too. These are jackets. Definitely can crawl under. Like I said, I'm gonna go check the kitchen first. Unless I'm. All right. That little inside garden. Wait, am I going in the right way? I should be. Yes. Here we are. So that what? Box of typewriter keys. So it's in the basement. So we need to go to the basement too. Yes. Well, we need to go there anyways. Um, now let's go way way back. So. Oh, we haven't opened this door just yet. Now we opened. Um, more doors to open. There's definitely things to check through there. Oh no, we don't need to go there. Still that. I don't know what. Hmm, blood. Now, let's see what we can actually open. Can we open you? Yes. Okay, we 
got a typewriter here. Receive typewriter keys. A note is written on the back. Okay. William, an unfortunate event is slowing down the repair of your typewriter. Another machine broke down along the way. The service lift I usually use to bring them down got stuck between two levels, as it happened before. But today it seems impossible to open it. A specialist should come shortly, I ordered new keys, but we will have to wait for the delivery. A couple of weeks tops. I'm very sorry about the inconvenience. Charles. Okay, so some keys are missing. So we need to get those. To do something. Which we probably find out. Oh right, this is this area, okay. James Hamilton and Nigel again. Okay, we got a journal. Update. Updated journal. The brother seems to be fixed in place on a desk as if it were an integral part of the room. The missing keys are P Y I A H C N. One of these walls in Hamilton's office looks suspicious to me, like something's hidden behind it. There's no way I can move it with my bare hands. Would the typewriter mechanism have something to do with this? Yes. I guess we have a secret room here. Bobert smirked as he spotted his phone number on the list. If only someone else had taken the job before him, he would still be in Montreal, sitting warm and comfortable in his car, taking pictures of some unfaithful spouse. Indeed. Mark Thibault, unreachable, out of province. Karen Savard, on maternity leave. Philippe Cote, not interested, has another contract. Half over, Korean war veteran, good profile. So, <laughs> we definitely draw the sword stick. The uh, sword straw stick. Well, Hamilton left everything to Henry. From his knowledge of their family history, Faubert had rather expected Hamilton to disown him. Despite everything... Perhaps the father could never stop loving his son. Perhaps. In Manastan, in the absence of a notary, I, William Jacob Hamilton, made my holo holographic will. My, may God save me from sudden, violent, or infectious death, and may I make my will with the appropriate legal authorities in Dun Duncan Mackenzie's study in Montreal. In the event that is up to date, will. In the event that is up to date, will cannot be produced by the rules. This holographic will prevail over the previous version. All of my assets and a fortune are bequeathed in accordance with legacy, legacy laws to my son, Henry Jacob Hamilton, and my wife, Rachel Esther Hamilton. I bequeath them all of my properties and the entirety of assets of these properties, of which Mr. Duncan Mackenzie Esquire can provide the list of the appropriate time. All of my property, access, and assets in any way related to my company, Hamilton Mining Corporation, go to my son, Henry Jacob Hamilton, making him ex officio uh, the CEO. Let him have their corresponding access. For any additional queries, please refer to Jules Demers. Signed in Manastan, June 1658. William J. Hamilton. Well, her wife never got anything. Oh, that's the will. So, next we need to go... Ah! Oh. A bolt action magazine fed repeating rifle. Yes, Lee Enfield. Good thing we came here. Hello, moose. Wolves. <laughs> I'm under the moose. So now we have a rifle, which I kind of want to save, of course. Because it's... Um, more no need to try. Carl would not be able to go through there. Yeah, but can I but I can't drop down. Okay. So I need to get down No, that's not something I can read. Okay. I'll skip the part where we are actually downstairs, so once I get there we'll see you back. And here we are, just made a save there, so we should be good to go. Now, 
we have a door locked there. Service lift is on our right, so let's go get the service lift first. And then to check the locked door. There is the service lift. Uh, what did we, we add a door here? Oh, but I think I've already been here, yes. Some letters. Well, that is enough for this. Let's see if we can get the keys. I'm just checking this once more. It's empty. Typewriter keys to replace the broken ones. Good. Now we have those, so we can open the secret area. Next thing is to go to the locked door. Was it right over here? Oh, yes. Okay, uh, can we... Key required. Okay, we still don't have the key for that. I don't know what keys I have at the moment, but I think I've been everywhere I can. Oh right, we didn't check you. Man is wolf to man, said the philosopher. Seeing the state of this poor woman, one could only imagine such fury, which would explain the barricades and the fright that Carl could sense in the chaos of the place. What had happened here was not caused by a man. Okay. And we have Emily Lebrun, uh, one of Hamilton's housekeepers. That is we read. Oh, Tome 4. So, July 9, 69, we have new resident at the manor. Jules is his name, an employee of the mine. He is very courteous and not very talkative. He avoids our gaze when we talk to him. His room is unusually clean. This morning I went in to change his sheets and his bed looked as if it had not been disturbed since the last week. Since last week. It is still made exactly the way I made it. Made it. I don't know why I read read it like that. I didn't see a trade of trace of laundry, clean or dirty. He doesn't even have a suitcase. Does he sleep here? Where does he hide at night? I put Charles on the case. He's good at spying. August 18, 69. Hamilton is coughing more and more. I caught him hiding a handkerchief full of blood in his pocket the other day at the meeting with someone, some businessman. I tried to bring tea and was practically chased out, the room, out of the room. November 2nd, 69. Last night I couldn't resist and kept an eye on Hamilton. He's so skinny. I worry about him. As I approached his room, I heard Jules. I didn't understand what they were saying, but it's an odd time for a formal meeting. Charles' investigation was unsuccessful, by the way. We still don't know what Jules is doing at the manor. Jules' presence at the manor is almost invisible. He is working with Mr. Hamilton on something, but I don't know what. I don't like not knowing. It makes me anxious. September 70. September 70. <laughs> 1970. I was awakened during this morning by the sound of broken glass in from the living room. It was the work of some vandals. Uh, the window is completely broken. They even left graffiti on the garage. Mr. Hamilton was furious. It's the first time in the month I, that I have been any vigor coming from him. Seen any vigor coming from him. He said he would hire a detective to find the people responsible. That's where we came in. So let's check the tunnel. No. The J won't open. So there's... I'll have to go check this body too. I'm fairly certain we missed something in the area. Uh, but yeah, let's go to the secret room if we can. Uh, right over here. All right. Mm. Wait. Oh. Uh, the typewriter is mechanism 
Typewriter's mechanism seems to reset after I type seven letters. What important word or name might it activate? Okay, I need to get a name from that or... Mm. Cynthia. So I have to be very careful. <laughs> Voila. There were very few rules that private detectives abided by, but one of them was this. Behind back doors and complicated locks usually lay hidden the answers to your questions. Indeed. This lock design was highly sophisticated. Hamilton had evidently paid a high price. What did he want to hide? And from whom? From everybody. But this seems going to the basement. So I guess that's the door. Which brings us here. And I was thinking that he might have a cancer and uh, or tuberculosis, but I'm let's see. Few what corporations it. had commercial ties with the government behind the Iron Curtain, and there was a good reason for that. What could this missed program be? So yes, he had dealings with Soviet Union. The Ministry of De Defense Industry of the S Union of Soviet Socialist Republics and the Hamilton's Mining Corporation, herein after referred uh, to as the parties, desiring to promote close cooperation between the two countries, wishing to encourage, encourage within the MIST program, mobility and exchange of the program's resources and research advances into new technologies and materials in both countries. Convinced of the interest of facilitating the exchange of knowledge on the new material, have agreed on the following provisions. Article 1. Purpose. Purpose of this agreement is to simplify and facilitate the administrative procedure applicable when researchers from one party eligible under this agreement wish to enter into and temporarily reside in the territory of the other party to perform their work and exchanges and to improve their knowledge of the others, other countries' discoveries as part of the MIST program. Article 2. Eligibility. The following Soviet and Canadian citizens may benefit from application, the application of this agreement. Chemistry graduate who was personal, personally hired by William Hamilton, doctor of medicine, medical researcher with at least 10 years of experience in the field, all workers who are part of the MIST research program. Well, well, well. You really had some problems there. Classified Alarming evidence. similarities with acute radiation syndrome. All right. Up to that point, Carl had been unaware that Hamilton was ill. Alarming was the right word. Nothing about this document was reassuring. Of course, radiation. Direct ingestion by the dissolution process, since they are lethal, are to be avoided as shown by experiments number 38 and number 39. The prolonged survival of subject number 40, however, leaves hope for the ideal dosage. It is still too early to measure this progress. The paclitaxel discovered by the NCI has been promising, but the stone's effects on the environment are still too corrupt, uh, corrupted to consider exploitation on any other scale. Due to this neglect, Hamilton's body presents deep wounds uh, related to severe contamination. They are multiplying and bothersome. Hamilton's symptoms bear alarming similarities to acute radiation syndrome. As it stands, aside from relieving symptoms with general pain relievers and morphine, we have to wait. The subject no longer vomits, which suggests a, suggests a phase of recovery. Is electrical exploitation possible? Combustion report cannot be used as a fuel at this time. See Formula A table. Subject number 41 will be examined next week in the lab. There's this, their structure is very close to humans. Optimism is allowed. Test of the matter should be focus, focused around its medical properties for now. Possibilities seem what? Their structure is very close to humans. What the hell are you doing and what the hell are you researching? Okay. 
So we have that. And unlocks the mansion's laboratory in the base. Oh, okay. So it's the laboratory. Yes. And Ooh. okay, so we are here. Oh right, I totally forget that there was a door here. So now we can go to the laboratory. Good. I probably want to go and save. We definitely check the laboratory in this episode. After that, let's see where it leads. There's outside which we need to. Search. Where's the wolf? Is the wolf gone? And uh, there are a few things I need to clean in this area if we can. Mainly find the rest of the nodes. And probably the earlier area. But let's see how this actually works. So if I miss them, then I miss them. But... Uh, if I can go back after we'll deal with the banner, I will. Let's go to laboratory. Laboratory. And yeah, we know it's in there, so... I don't wanna... The makeshift lab made Carl feel uncomfortable couldn't help but imagine the grim experiments that had taken place there. Ah, I kind of agree. Let's see what the journal says. No, still... Um, it's a clandestine lab. Hamilton deployed every effort to cure himself. But why didn't he ever go to the hospital? Probably because of the Russian connection, maybe? So, this has, there's got to be a picture somewhere here. But let's see. The note implied that its author had studied the Mistonite. If he was still alive, he might provide some answers. Mistonite. October 2nd, 1970. Examined William again yesterday. The, his tissue con tissues continues to deteriorate. I fear that his lungs and his stomach suffer the most severe damage. His ulcers cause him much pain, and it's becoming increasingly clear to me that the, his bone marrow has been affected. At this stage, he needs to be hospitalized, if only for his comfort. But I know William too well to, be, to believe that he would ever leave Manastan. Therefore, the responsibility falls upon me to save his life. I will go to my office tomorrow to fetch all my notes on Miss Mr. Knight. I have to reread everything, abs absolutely everything. Okay. Um. Okay, that's nice. There's the radiation source, I'm guessing. The doctor in charge of his private care is named Jules Demers. Where is he now? Again, good question. We'll probably find him either dead or alive. Maybe. He's still alive. And let's take that because we can. We have that safety pouch. It's working. So that makes sense that uh, people were spying on. Hamilton, after all, he was working with the USSR. Parabolik, Pierre Luc Poulain. Uh, probably missed those, but we will see. So, where would this door lead? Oh, well, it's kind of dark. But it's really dark. Is this a shed outside? Oh, 
Okay. Si vous entendez ceci, ce message est crucial. Trouvez un endroit où vous mettre à l'abri. Mais sortez en dernier recours. Si vous avez à sortir, armez-vous et méfiez-vous de quiconque porte les couleurs de la Hamilton Mining Corporation. Tenez-vous le plus loin possible de la faune. Les animaux sont devenus extrêmement... Hein? Ah, oh, quelqu'un, enfin! Vous m'entendez? Charles mm -hmm. Faubert. Oui, votre nom me dit quelque chose. Je serais curieuse d'entendre ce que vous avez à dire. Si vous le pouvez, venez me rejoindre. On a établi un retour au nord avec d'autres survivants. Longez la bordure est du lac Louis jusqu'à ce que vous voyez un pied près d'une tour en bois. Le retour est proche. Oh, are we... Si vous entendez ceci, ce message est crucial. So, are we actually going back? Gas can can be used to fuel up vehicles. So is this the shed? Yes. So I think I end this episode here. Next episode I'll probably, let's see. We are now here. I'll have to check the missing things in the mansion. I'll probably do it so that I go to the place and try to find it, what I'm missing, and when I find it, I'll show it to you guys. Of course, we have to check the exterior, so... Oh, this is the people's land, okay. So, and also, I'm gonna go check this area and get the missing pieces and show them when I find them. So that's my plan. And after that, we continue with the story and see how it goes. But I'll try to get those... Uh, missing pieces which i do have so anyways i hope you enjoyed this episode and i will see you next time until then goodbye